hello everyone i'm back so it was probably close to 10 o'clock i finally um dozed off and went to sleep as i was trying to write and you know i started to like write like a blog entry a journal entry and I guess as far as sleep goes, I started to doze off and couldn't fight, couldn't fight it or resist. So I was able to finally um, get me at least two hours of sleep. And um, so it's since it's you know shortly after twelve o'clock, two people each have donated me. Um, one hundred dollars, <throat> and, and so I need help with, you know, I, as I said, you know, don't even worry about the food thing, okay? Um, I just need help if anybody else, I, I mean, can help me out with a total of one hundred sixty-five dollars. And I needed help with it within the within the next two hours. Please, I'm praying, hoping, you know, to, to have help with just 165 more dollars, you know, in order to get to stay off the streets. So I won't have to pack up and leave and then end up having to go back on the streets. I, I mean, I need whatever help I could, you know. But, you know, as I, I was trying to say that, um, it, I mean, and I understand, you know, some people might be struggling. And if y'all say, well, it's not much, but I'm telling y'all, I mean, like $100, that is, even $50, that is plenty. If that was, uh, I mean, you know, that is plenty, you know, but it costs 365 to get to stay here every week. And, you know, I'm trying to not be that long on this video because I'm just coming on here, you know, briefly to ask for praying and asking for more help. And, you know, one thing about being blackballed and blacklisted, a lot of the fake rich professional people, what they'll do is they'll try to gaslight and lie and say that there is no such thing as blacklisting or they'll try to play all kinds of psychological games and lie and say that you know that they have never heard of blacklisting or the, it's supposedly you know a negative connotation you, you know if you go google search you know people will try to make it like as if there's something that you did wrong to deserve to be just blacklisted for life blacklisted you, you know and then a job you do get to, that the narcissistic perps the low wage jobs that you're overqualified for that you that they do allow you to have they end up workplace you, you end up experiencing workplace mobbing excuse me they bully you off the job if you try to get a place to live nobody wants to rent to you like nobody wants to hire you for a job or and then if you do you end up dealing with workplace mobbing or if nobody wants to um rent an apartment rent no no landlords want to rent to you but if they do rent you a place then it turned out to be a scam perp landlord with a whole bunch of perp neighbors and you end up be dealing with um community mobbing like being a victim of community mobbing so you know at like targeted individuals that are blacklisted and workplace mob we are innocent we are innocent but of course the bad guys are going to make like we're the bad guys and then you, you know that like is that they want to threaten you with lawsuits to try to keep you quiet and try to make you scared and stuff but you know but it's like some targets back down and be submissive and quiet and silent about their abuse or they said that if they expose their abuse they get tortured even more so 
we can't let the bad guys get away with this or get rewarded, continue get re getting rewarded for trafficking and targeting and abusing us while continuing to force us, you know, to suffer and struggle and be homeless by no fault of our own. And, and they said that this targeting starts, the first thing is the smear campaign, lies and false rumors. So, um... I'm going to do some more blogging and writing. I mean, but if the guy tells me I have to leave, then, you know, I don't know. I mean, it might cost, I mean, I don't know if it would take me three hours to pack up and leave. Um, but I'm praying for an opportunity, you know, for help to get to stay here longer. But, um... But if I can't get the help, then I will have to go back on the streets and then deal with bad weather, being rained on, being stalked, followed, harassed, and everything else. But, you know, it would be, you know, very helpful. I mean, the donations that I have collected would be very helpful for me, for me to already, you know, go back to the storage unit and then go back to the sleep spot area and also, you know, have food to eat while I'm on the streets. So, I don't want to be on here that much longer, but, um, but if, you know, if I got to be harassed by Alex Dupree downtown, then, you know, I would have to, I mean, since I'm banned from riding the buses, I would have to try to, you know, go somewhere like, I would have to take an Uber to go somewhere away from him um, to get the hell away from downtown for the day. And, you know, just me trying to survive and stay, you know, out of jail and out of the mental hospital for him, you know, stalking me, abusing me, and calling the police on me unprovoked for no reason. And then people will falsely make it like as if I'm the one who's trouble. And it's like, even... <coughs> Excuse me. Never mind. I'm not going to say it, but I'm just praying for help with, you know, before 2 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time, you know, I need help. You know, I'm asking, um, please, you know, I'm not, you know, please don't take it that I'm, you know, entitled. No, I'm not trying to do that. I'm just asking and begging and pleading for help to be, you know, so I would not have to be on the streets. And then it's even worse on Easter being Sunday, it will be Easter. So many businesses will be closed. And even during the day, I won't really have many places where I can go use the bathroom or go and, um, you know, go to the bathroom or go to the, um, you know, have much of anywhere to eat. And stuff like that. Even though I, I don't plan to be celebrating Easter. Um, couldn't afford to if, if I did anyway. But I mean I'm just trying to survive. And then you know. As I told y'all I applied for several jobs earlier this week. But only one person sent, called me back. And said that the position was just filled. And that probably might be a gang stalking script. And then nobody else had responded back to me. So then on the 23rd, I just found out, I hope I don't forget, that I heard that there is a um, job fair, a career fair and stuff. So, you know, I guess I'll try to shoot my shot at that, just trying what I could. So I'm going to um, continue blogging. And I'm just, as I said, I'm just, for the ones who have donated already, thanks so much. It's, don't worry, you know, it's plenty. You weren't obligated to, but it means so much and it's plenty. But, you know, it used to be cheaper to stay here. But, you know, with inflation and everything, they, they've they been raising prices. At the one of the other motels similar to this, <clears throat> um, about a year and a half ago, it used to cost two twenty five to stay here, plus tax or whatever. But now it's um, three 
365 with tax included. So I just need help with 165 more dollars. Please, I'm praying. Thanks. I love y'all and see y'all.